What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to look at how to install TensorFlow version 1.8 on Ubuntu 18.04. I know a lot of you guys use Linux and Ubuntu so I think it's time we do this tutorial so let's get started. To begin, I've gone ahead and done a fresh install of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, which just came out last week. And I installed it to my main PC, which has a GTX 1070. I also installed um, the ArcDark theme and the Paper Icon theme. And I also installed Anaconda. I'm not going to show how to install Anaconda in this video, but if you guys are interested, leave a comment below. And if I see enough interest, I'll do a tutorial on that in the future. But now let's jump over to some slides that I prepared. And these are basically the same ones from the eGPU series, just modified slightly. So like always, um, if we're going to install TensorFlow GPU, we're going to need an NVIDIA GPU with a compute capability of 3.0 or higher. And if you're unsure about that, go check the NVIDIA website. They've got a list of all the GPUs with their compute capabilities. And also we're going to need Python. On Linux, it comes with Python, but I'm going to be using Anaconda just because that's what I always do. Now let's look at some high-level steps for installing TensorFlow. Step one, we're going to update our GPU driver. And in this video, I'm going to be installing version 390. If you're watching this video at a later date, it's probably going to be something higher than that. But for now, I'm going to use 390. Step two, we're going to install CUDA Toolkit version 9.0 with all the patches. You'll see that there's a 9.1 and a 9.2, but as of now, TensorFlow recommends installing 9.0. Again, if you're watching this video in the future, there'll probably be some newer toolkit out, but for now, install 9.0. Then we're going to update our path variable to have all the paths to our CUDA toolkit. Step four, we're going to install CUDNN 7.0.5. Um, again, this is the one that's recommended by TensorFlow. You'll see that there's a 7.1 out but we're going to stick to the recommended version. And step number five, we're going to install TensorFlow GPU using pip. And then finally, step number six, we're going to test everything, see if it works. So now let's jump into step number one and update that driver. So in order to update our GPU driver, we're going to need to install this PPA package. So we just need to run these commands in the terminal. So I'm going to, hit, going to go ahead and copy this and I'll pull up my terminal here. And to paste it, you can just use the middle button, the scroll wheel button. So just click it and type in your password, like always. Hit enter. Cool, so we've got that installed. Now we're just going to do sudo apt update, just to update that package that we just installed. And then finally, we're going to do sudo apt install nvidia-390 and we're done so now in order for this to take effect we need to do a reboot so i'm going to go ahead and reboot and when we'll pick back up we'll run this nvidia smi command just to see that it's working so be right back and we're back so now let's go ahead and check that our driver is installed by running that command so nvidia-smi so you can see we've got driver version 390.48. It's running on our GTX 1070. We get some other stuff like uh, GPU memory and usage, stuff like that. But our graphics driver is up to date. So now let's look at step number two. So here we're going to install the CUDA Toolkit 9.0. So just follow this link. It's to an archive because 9.0 is a older driver. But just go ahead and click this. And we're going to select Linux, x86-64, uh, distribution is going to be Ubuntu, and go ahead and check the 17.04. And we're going to get the dev local file. And then if we scroll down, you'll see that there's the base installer, and then there's two patches. So first thing we're going to do is download and install that base installer. So click that, we're going to say save file. And because this is pretty big, 1.2 gigs, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then pick back up once the download's done. So again, be right back. All right, the download is done. So now all we need to do is basically run these commands 
And I've gone ahead and copied those to the slides just because here um, we need to update this um, to reflect the file that we downloaded here. So what I'm going to do is jump back over to the slides. I'm going to copy this command right here. Then I'm going to pull up my terminal. Just going to clear the screen and cd into our downloads. And you can see here's the file that we downloaded, this uh, CUDA repo thing right here. So now I'm just going to paste our command, type in our password. Cool, that's done. So now let's go ahead and copy this one, this app key add something. Paste that in, get that running, that's done. Then finally we just need to do sudo apt get update. So we can update all those packages. Finally, we need to do sudo apt get install CUDA. So this one, we, well, we click yes to proceed. This one's going to take a while to install. There's a lot of files. So again, I'm going to pause, pick back up once this is done. So again, be right back. All right, it's done. So now what we need to do is download and install those two patches. So I'm going to jump back over to that website here. And we're going to download this first patch. And we're going to select to open with the software installer just so it can do it for us. So this one won't take too long to download. Once it's done, we should get a little pop up saying, do you want to install this thing? This thing right here. So we'll click install. We, we got to enter our password. All right, that's done. Let's do patch two. Again, open with the software installer. Click OK. Should go pretty fast, only 100 megabytes. Install. Boom. All right, so we've got everything installed. So next thing to do is to update those paths. So I'll show you how to do that using Nano. So first thing I'm going to do is jump back over to the slides and let's go to step number two. So we're going to be modifying our bash RC file and we're going to use a text editor like Nano to do it. So all we need to do is add these two lines, export path equals this stuff to the CUDA folder. And then we need to create this new one called LD library path. And basically what we're doing is just appending this path to our existing path and this one also. So to do that, I'm just gonna pull up a terminal and we're gonna type sudo nano tilde slash dot bash rc. So I've got one here, let's type that now sudo nano tilde slash dot bash rc so this is a file that has a bunch of configuration stuff like our paths and a bunch of stuff in there but we're going to come all the way to the bottom and we're going to add these two lines so go ahead and copy this one control c you can also use that middle click button to paste and we're also going to paste this one so copy middle click and just so you can see it yep got the whole thing in there so now in order to save it we're going to do control o then hit enter and then to exit it's going to be control x so our paths are updated now let's move on to step four and get that qdnn installed so i'm going to jump back over to the slides move on to step number four and we're going to download QDNN 7.0.5. So we can just follow this link to get to it. Um, click this button, download QDNN. In order to download it, you need to have a, a user account. So give it a, an email and a, a password to create an account. And then once you do that, click this uh, I agree thing here. And then we're going to look for the archive QDNN releases. So click that here. Then come down to... Uh, download QDNN 7.0.5 for CUDA 9. So click this here, and we're going to download this uh, library for Linux. This is the tar file that we want. So again, just save it. And once this is done downloading, I'll pick back up and we'll do all the commands to install it. And actually, I already had it downloaded, so I'm just going to pull up my terminal again just to show you. It's this one here, QDNN. QDNN 9.0, um, this tar file. 
So let's jump back over to the slides. And in order to unzip it, we're going to run this command. So we'll run that. Cool. So now we just need to copy a few files from the unzipped file to our CUDA folder that we just created. So we'll copy that one, paste it super fast, copy that one, done, and last one, boom, and we're done. So QDNN is done. Now all we need to do is install TensorFlow GPU using pip. So to create the conda environment, I'm just going to run this command here. Conda create dash n, we're going to call it tf. We're going to use Python 3.6 and the package we're going to install with it is pip. So we'll just copy that, pull up our terminal, paste it, get that install going, click yes. Boom, it's done. So now let's activate it. So we'll call source activate tf. And now all we need to do is the pip install. So we'll do pip install tensorflow dash gpu. Boom, and it's done. So only thing left to do is test it. So let's pull up a new Python interpreter. We'll go ahead and import TensorFlow as TF. No errors, that's good. So let's check the version. So we'll call TF dot underscore underscore version. We've got version 1.8. So now let's run that hello TensorFlow um, code. So the first thing we're going to do is create a TF constant called hello. So hello is going to be equal to TF dot constant. And it's going to hold the string hello tensorflow. Then we're going to call with tf.session as sesh. And then what we're going to do is call sesh.run. And we're going to run hello. Boom, there it is. We've got our um, expected output hello tensorflow. And you can see we get all this output saying, you know, allocating memory to the GPU and all that stuff. So it's working. We're done. That's all we need to do. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found it useful and you're able to get TensorFlow installed on the latest version of Ubuntu and get the latest version of TensorFlow installed. I know when I tried this initially, I had a lot of trouble just because I couldn't find a nice tutorial online. There was a lot of mixed instructions, but the best instructions I found were on NVIDIA's website. So um, I've, yeah, those are what I've been referring to. I use their instructions and those are what you're going to find in the slides here. So again, that's going to be it. If you guys have any questions, leave comments below. I'm pretty good about responding to those. And again, um, we're shifting from Facebook to a Discord server. So I'm not really going to be responding to stuff on Facebook anymore, but instead we're going to use the Discord server. I think it's a lot better because people can chat amongst each other. Um, people who've, you know, worked through the tutorials, they can provide help to new people, especially if I'm not there. I'm pretty active on there, so you'll see me chatting, but um, this way the, at least it'll be a little bit more collaborative and you can get feedback quicker than the one on one thing we were doing on Facebook. So there'll be a link to the Discord server below. There'll be a link to the slides below. And yeah, if you guys got any questions, um, feel free to leave them below. If you liked the video, leave it a like. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.